One of the 12 killed in the shooting rampage is one of the Miami Valley's own. Matt McQuinn from Springfield was just 27. His girlfriend, Samantha Yowler from New Paris, was also shot, but she was shot in the knee. She is recovering from surgery and is expected to be fine. We spoke with McQuinn's family in Springfield. Rhonda Moore has their story tonight and why McQuinn's heroic actions saved his loved ones. Matt's body is still in Colorado. When it returns home, services will most likely be held here at his church. Now, his stepfather says Matt really loved life. And ironically, he was planning on returning here to Springfield in two weeks because he missed his family and friends. Um, hey, I'm proud to call him my son. David Jackson is reminiscing about his stepson, Matt McQuinn. Well, he was one good guy. You know, he always there for family and friends if they needed it. And he believes Matt was shot three times. He died in the Colorado movie theater where 11 others were killed. Matt was there with his girlfriend, Samantha Yaller, and her brother. She was shot in the leg. Her brother wasn't hurt. Jackson says the two men shielded Samantha when the shooting started. But Matt did what a man's supposed to do. You, you protect the, the ones you love, no matter what the cost. Matt's mom flew to Colorado to find her son. Late last night, she got the terrible news. My wife was talking to him on the phone just before they went to the movies. And he said, well, Mom, Nick's here, and we're going to go now. I'll talk to you later. Matt's mom told Samantha her boyfriend had died. He was destroyed. He's going to be missed by a lot of people. Everybody loved him. That was our Rhonda Moore reporting. Friends of the McQuinn family have set up a special memorial fund website to help raise money for the family and for funeral expenses. If you'd like to help, just head over to our website, abc22now.com. Click on news links.